Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial on how to make a game in UDK and today I'm going to show you how to add water to your map. So first of all, let's open our map, DM first map, open and close. So as you remember this is our map that we made with our light importance volume as you can see in the yellow box and our build a brush here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add water into the map so that we can have a lake or pool type thing. So, first, we need to go into Material Editor, no, sorry, the Terrain Editor, and we need to create a pool or a hole for our water to go into. So, I'm going to create no fall off, so it's a direct hole, and I think the radius will be increased to about a little bit higher. That'll do. And if I get a direct on top view, oh, like so, and I'll just control and right click to decrease the land, like so. Let's make sure it's not too deep. I think I might raise that a little bit so just go back to your vantage point control left click to raise as you remember and we will have our hole now let's just go on to smooth let's shrink it down, let's make that one two eight again and then let's just go and smooth control left click just to smooth this out. Right, so here we have our small little hole. Actually, I think I'm going to make that a little lower. And then again, smoothen it. So, just make your uh, hole where you want the water, your puddle, your grand lake, or your ocean, whatever you're going to use it for, and smooth it out, and maybe make a ramp in case your character isn't able to get off it, but you can you can always swim directly out of water. So, anyway, now we can now close the editor, and we can go over to our uh, builder brush. So you want to make your builder brush large enough to cover the whole of your puddle. So first align it in the center then right click on cube and I've been doing this previously to remember how to do it so I have put 2048, I'll just type it again, so 2408, 2400, no, 2048 even, and 10,024. Build, close. Now, go on to these views onto the, on the right, and zoom in to our brushes. Now, we select this and we should be able to center it over this dip that we see. I'm going to use this in this view as well and in the top view. I'll just move along until we find where we are. So I won't use this but if I just go up above and I move I'll move it along to the left and along that way. Let's make sure that it's all under the surface uh, and raise it a little just so it's just about where you want your water level to be and make sure it doesn't cut the bottom of your puddle and let's go and check how good the builder brush's placement is um, move it along a bit like that I think that would be okay so now we've got our builder brush, we can now leave that be for the moment. 
But what we're going to do now is we're going to enable, we're going to add the surface of the water. I'm just going to move this along a little bit. Okay, right, so now we need to go to Content Browser and then go to Actor Classes and go to Fluid and click on Fluid Surface Actor. Don't click on Fluid Surface Actor Movable because uh, I don't think it makes a difference, but I th it may make a horrible difference. So click Fluid Surface Actor, click X, and go to the center of your uh, bowl or wherever you're putting your water. Right click and go add fluid surface actor here. As you should see, you've got a little uh, piece of uh, CSG, well, it looks like the CSG from before, but uh, we can add that a bit of matter added to the world. Now try and get it level with your um, builder brush. This is why I need to zoom in on this so you can check it out. So as you can see, our water fluid thingy, what's it, is there. And I seem unable to select it. If I zoom in, I should be able to find it. Odd. Uh, I'll select it on here and just raise it a bit. That will do. Let's raise it a little. Just need to try and get these as close as you can. I think this should do. Yep, that'll do. So now we can add a material to it to make it look like water. So let's go to Content Browser. Let's search water and material instances. Now this time it's a different type of material instance. It is called uh, material instance constant and this is because this type of water we want it will actually be animated so let's click on instant constant save and fully load if you have to uh, fully I find out you don't actually have to save but it's fully load that's the important thing so click um, material instant constant of rippling water underscore inst and go over to your fluid surface axa click on it Right click and just as we did with the buildings, um, you can add material assigned from Content Browser. And here we are. It may take a bit, but uh, you will have this nice fluid surface to your pool. Now, if we just close Content Browser and if we play from here, as you can see, you go in the water it doesn't do anything at all and you're know, stuck in the pool it doesn't act like water at all or you get at the surface so what we need to do is we need to using our builder brush add particular volumes to the water so select your builder brush and then go to volumes right click on the cube and go to UT water volume add so we now have a UT water volume so if you right click from here Let's just go into our water. You can notice we now have water physics. But as you can see, there's no lighting and it's all blurry. And uh, sorry, there is no blur. And of course you it's usually when you're in water you expect a bit of blur. So let's exit. Um I'm just going to raise this. It's hard to select when you're not in a constant because it just raise this up like that and raise up just going to move our builder brush down a little bit so I can get access to the volume and then just raise that a little and that should then comply with the other stuff yep that's good that's good. So now, if we just play from here, 
you do some fine tuning to get this right, but you have the water that you're able to also swim out of. Good. Right, exit. And we now need to add lighting. So, move your builder brush back up. So let's move it to the same as the post processing thingy. Yep, up there. And then if we go to volumes, right click and go to post process volume and click on that. Right, so we've now added a post process volume. So we can now move our builder brush out of the way. And if we select here, we'll notice that we've got process and volume here. If you can't find your post process volume, you pro you probably got your UT water volume there. So just drag it out of the way and you should be able to find your other volume. But okay, so just replace it wherever you wherever you were using. Maybe I'll put that back there. And back up there. There you are. And then right click post process volume properties. Now if you go to enable DOF, which is depth of field, go along, that is ticked on settings, but go over and check this box here. And if you go down, you should see all these focus options. So what we want to do is we want to set um, focus in a radius to about and uh, I think 96 and you probably want to set uh, John remember I think it's 0 0.3 but it might be that one but I'll find out so close and we should now have a blur effect in our water so let's just play and let's go along here we are you have a blur effect in our water so as you might notice as you get closer to certain things it becomes more into focus and as you can see the lighting is a bit of a fail so the exit I'll just add a light point add actor light point Wow. Oh, where is it? Okay. Put that out. Raise it up a bit higher. And right click. Actually, now I'll just go down. Play in the pot. Here we are. So if we go in, our lighting shouldn't fail. And we've got swimmable water. Now, unfortunately, you don't sink. But that I'm assuming that is one of the options you can go you can select if you delve deeper into UC water and post process volume but yeah this is one of the good effects you can add to UDK maps is adding water it adds realism to the game and it allows you to swim around and it just gives you an extra bit of good looking to your game okay then this is how to make water in UDK by Corporal Lork that's me and I hope you enjoyed the video um, uh, coming towards the uh, end of the, se of the tutorial series how to make a game on UDK um, as I previously said please comment rate and subscribe I would quite like to hear any of your requests uh, queries or improvements that you'd like into the, the videos or what you already like or what you don't like uh, I'm always happy open to um, always happy open to uh, comments uh, requests improvements Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to find the right word, but I can't. Um, I also like to say I now have one subscriber, and thank you to that subscriber. <laughs> um, okay, so thank you very much for watching. Um, keep your eyes peeled. Watch your space for the next video, uh, which will probably be how to add artificial intelligence to your game. Uh, okay then, thank you very much for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, thank you and goodbye.